Welcome to this video on the topic of Year 8 Mathematics for Life, Fractional Fun. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can write a fraction in its simplest form. To do this, we're going to have a look at two examples. First example, 12 over 36. We want to write this fraction in its simplest form possible. The way in which we're going to do this is in two steps. The first step is we need to discover all of the prime factors for the numbers 12 and 36, or the numerator and the denominator. To find the prime factors, what we're going to do is we're going to draw prime factor trees. This is done by picking our first number, in our case 12, and we ask, can we divide it by 2, the first prime number? Because 12 is even, we can do this and we get a result of 6. Next, we wash and repeat. Can we divide 6 by, can we divide 6 by 2? Yes, we can. And the result is 3. And because 3 is a prime number, we know we've found all of our prime factors here. Next, we turn our attention to 36. Can we divide this by 2? Yes, we can. The result is 18. Can we divide 18 by 2? Yes, we can. The result is 9. And can we divide 9 by 2? No, we can't, but we can divide it by the next prime number, which is 3, giving us a result of 3. And thus, we are able to discover all of our prime factors. Next step, we need to write this fraction as the product of all its factors and then cancel out the common factors. This will look like 12 over 36. And that's the same as writing. Downstairs we have 2 by 2 by 3 by 3. And upstairs it's 2 by 2 by 3. So the 12 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3. And 36 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Next we play our favorite game called Keep or Kill. The way in which this works is, if we see a number upstairs as well as downstairs, we get to kill it. So, we say, we see a 2 upstairs and we see a 2 downstairs, so we kill. We see another 2 upstairs and another 2 downstairs, so we kill. And then we finally see a 3 upstairs and then a 3 downstairs, so we kill. We are left over with just a single 3 downstairs. We can only cancel like for like. Finishing this off, I can say that this is equal to something over 3. Because we eliminated all of our factors upstairs, we simply write 1. Because there's always a factor of 1 up here, we just don't write it. Unless we're in this situation. So therefore we discover that 12 over 36 can be written in its simplest form as 1 over 3. The way in which we do this is we first discover the prime factors and then we cancel out the common factors. Let's have another go. Minus 60 over 12. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find all of the prime factors. To do this, I write minus 60 and let's have a go. What we notice in this case is minus 60 is a negative number, which means that our first factor is minus one. So it's our first integer factor. The result left over is 60. Next, we ask, can we divide 60 by a two? The answer is yes, and we get 30. 30 is an even number, so we're able to divide that by two again, which gives us 15. Now, if we try and divide 15 by two, we get 7.5, and we don't like decimals, so we move along to our next prime, which is three. We ask, can we divide 15 by 3? The answer is yes, we can, and we get 3 and 5. And because 5 is a prime number, we have discovered all of our factors here. Next, we have 12. We already know the factors of 12 because we got it from the first question. It is 2, 2, and 3. So here are our prime factors there. Next, we write it out such that we have the product of our factors and then we cancel out our common factors. So minus 60 over 12 is the same as writing minus 1 times 2 
times two times three times five. Then in the denominator, it's two by two by three. Now playing the game keep or kill, we have a minus one upstairs, but we don't have any of them downstairs. So we keep that. We have a two upstairs and a two downstairs. So we're going to kill a two upstairs and the two downstairs. We're going to kill. And we have a three upstairs and a three downstairs. So we kill. We are left over with a minus one and a five left over upstairs and a one downstairs. We don't write the one because we don't need to. Finishing this off, we have minus one times five over one. And minus one times five is minus five over one. And because it's over one, anything divided by one is itself. So what we discover is minus 60 over 12 in its simplest form is simply minus five. So in summary, what we had a look at here was how we can write fractions in their simplest form. The way in which we do this is we first discover all of the prime factors using these prime factor trees. We then write our fraction as the product of all its factors, and then we cancel out the common factors between numerator and denominator. We multiply everything that's left over in the numerator and everything left over in the denominator. And then we find our final product. In the first case, it was one over three. And in the second case, it was minus five.